I am very proud of one thing for sure, that we are able to serve the underprivileged. I'm most proud about seeing the four to 500 patients that regularly visit our hospital. We are able to relieve pain, put a smile on the patient. It's helping people. I have fitted over 1,000 hearing aids to patients. To see a smile on a patient that I did something. The most satisfying part of my job is being able to put my training and experience and bring this project alive. It only motivates me further to keep doing what I am doing. I'm very passionate about the outreach program because as we know, most of the patients who we have touched are the patients who never come to the hospital, they will go blind. Imagine living without a view of the beauty of this world. Just imagine how your life would be like without your eyesight. This is a world most of us are not used to. But it has been the life of more than 3.5 million eye patients who have visited the Lions Sightfast Eye Hospital for various eye treatment. A hospital that started off as a small clinic with just 20 beds and one doctor. This is one of the finest hospitals on this continent and our actual mission is to be a world-class facility to be able to serve the entire world, whoever comes over here. This hospital started 25 years ago when Lions Clubs International started the Site First program around the world. And in 1992, the foundation stone was laid of this fine hospital by our international president then, Rohit Mehta. This hospital has grown by leaps and bounds. It has actually become a center of ophthalmic excellence, not only in our country of Kenya, but in the entire region of East and Central Africa. Our most important asset at the Lion Sightfast Eye Hospital is the army of experienced resident doctors and nurses who are supported by our clinical officers and the administration staff. We have trained many doctors at this hospital from around Africa and I'm glad because we can't be everywhere but we can train our doctors to go and serve in many parts of Africa. Within ourselves, we are also training the local doctors here to be able to see we grow our capacity because need is great and we need to be able to match that as well. This team has significantly grown to over 290 qualified staff. They tirelessly and passionately make sure that more than 700 patients a day receive the best of all our services. The hospital, being 25 years old, has grown in its mission of giving the gift of sight over the years where we serve all specialties of eye care. But in addition to that, we have grown into the disciplines of diabetes, which is very strongly related to eye care. And we also offer dental and comprehensive ear health care for our patients. We have compassionately served all our patients, creating a remarkable and personal relationship with them. This leaves a mark of joy in their hearts and unlimited memories in our minds. Our world-class surgeons, doctors and clinicians have successfully conducted 150,744 cataract surgeries and 1,691 corneal transplants. Basically, in our clinic we see about T200 as well if we have like school closing times and something. So, as I told you, they are all mixed patients, but most of the patients that I see, you can see our 50 to 60 percent are having cornea problems. My most memorable experience at the hospital was actually 12 years ago when we retrieved the first cornea from a dead person at the MP Shah Hospital. I brought it here myself. We had a young boy who was seven years old whose cornea was damaged and he was really suffering for almost five years since the age of three. We brought in the cornea, we took the boy into the operating theater, we transplanted that first cornea and after four days when we opened the bandage, 
the smile on the boy's face that he could now see the colors of this world and to see that boy the moment we opened his bandage run that gave me the most internal satisfaction that you know this is what i really want to do for the rest of my life the most satisfying experience if you ask me is uh, a child which uh, i did the surgery for the cataract yeah i think uh, he must be around 10 months old 10 or 11 months and the child had cataract in both eyes which was there since i think uh, birth only so she was done both eye surgeries and then after that she, when she saw the mother for the first time and they were so much happy that they named the child priyanka With our services taking on a multifaceted approach, we have advanced to include other eye interrelated facilities. These include the Diabetes Care Center, the Modern Eye Bank, the ENT Clinic, the Dental Clinic, Foot and Wound Clinic, and the Optometry Unit. Eyes and hearing are also now progressively getting affected. because of the kind of technology we use and eyes and hearing are the two organs of the body that are getting really affected so in order to be able to support this and to make sure that Kenyans get the best in these as far as treatment or support is concerned we have the best diagnostic and therapeutic services at the Lion Sight First Eye Hospital The optometry services offered at the Lion Sight First Eye Hospital support the whole hospital including both the outpatient department and the specialty clinic. Our clinics are fully equipped with the latest technological advancement. These guarantees quality eye diagnosis for every patient that walks into our facility. Here in Lion Sight First Eye Hospital, we are the best in serving ophthalmology. units for all patients with all kinds of ophthalmology conditions and we have the latest diagnostic tools the latest treatment options including eye drops and others that you can't get elsewhere you can find it here we have two lens star machines we have three phaco machines which are top of the line which are have torsional phaco systems and which have got controlled iop systems and we can do phaco with 2.2 mm incisions thus the cut is 2.2 2.2 is such a small incision that you cannot see this kind of incision with the naked eye the range of technology includes algreto machine oct machine b scan machine orthopos sl pan bd dental yag laser machine among others The equipment complements our professional approach to serve all kinds of patients from all walks of life. We strive to match our services with the social economic status of our communities. We don't only operate on the patient's eyes, but we take care of them right from the time we screen them. We give them social background, we look after them, we take care of their needs. and most importantly they are all counseled before they go back home at optometry unit you cannot miss to notice the display of the well curated and caricatured glasses in various forms and shapes we also offer a wide variety of lenses that are also suitable for the variety of age groups that come to us we are constantly looking and working with various uh, partners internationally to see what is being developed what is being released internationally so that we can bring this in therefore we are trying to be as comprehensive as preventative and as affordable for our patients who visit us every day so lands hospital is the first hospital which has started the bladeless femtolasic so it's the most advanced technology in kenya that we have now and the next thing that we are going to start is the uh, kera ring which is femtosecond assisted putting ring in the cornea for the keratoconus patient that also no one else is doing here in Kenya in using the femtosecond machine that is the latest that we are going to start now in the coming few months 
for our glasses to match international standards and the specificities of our patients, we have established a fully equipped modern spectacle production lab that produces all our eye care lenses within the quickest turnaround time. Even with our pool of spectacles to choose from, we value the satisfaction of our patients. We also offer an alternative to glasses or contact lenses at our ultra-modern LASIK Center using the most advanced laser equipment to correct refractive errors. In 2009, Lyon Sightfast Eye Hospital established the first ever eye bank in East and Central Africa. This was done with the support of Kanubai Babla as a boost to our growing cornea transplant surgeries. At iBank specifically, we do harvesting of the corneas only, the cornea tissues. Eh? Once we harvest, we just do the processing of doing the cell count. The rate of cornea donations in Africa is relatively low, posing a great challenge to the many hopeful patients waiting for cornea transplant. This is one of the best gifts that you can give. Let someone else see the world through your eyes and be able to live a quality life and they might make a big impact in the world. It is probably the best donation that you can give. As we continue to amplify the call for more cornea donations, we share our commitment to offering a holistic care support to all patients. This is being done through our diabetes care center that goes beyond our clinic rooms. When we treat a person living with any kind of disease, disorder or dysfunction, we are to look at a patient as a whole. We look at a person coming for eye disease, cataracts, um, retinopathy related diseases to have other metabolic problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, etc. These treatments need to be bespoke. They need to be very well tailored and that's what we pride ourselves in doing. Through our outreach programs, we have screened diabetes patients. In instances where we detect cases of the diabetic foot, we refer them to our one-of-a-kind foot and wound clinic in Nairobi. Diabetes affects the feet in two ways. One, poor blood flow, and two, what we call neuropathy, which is nerve damage. It is not only about the work we do, it's also about the souls we touch the lives we change and the smiles we restore through education, rehabilitation and patient management services. As much as possible, we want to teach them to self-manage themselves. And uh, part of this is to increase their knowledge around the condition and uh, self-management skills. We are developing a more advanced foot and wound clinic to reduce the complications of the diabetic foot and educate our patients on simple wound management. I'm very excited that Lions, and I thank Lions for what they've done and been able to allow this to happen. And I think this will help so many people in Kenya in foot management and limb salvage. We have also established a technologically advanced dental care clinic. Uh, we have this pool of specialists and therefore we are really able to handle any case. Today in dentistry, we are talking about full mouth rehabilitation. We are able to do that, of course, courtesy of the many uh, specialists that we have. Our ENT Hearing Center has given relief to many of our patients with hearing problems. The center has the capacity to provide the best digital hearing aid to the patients. Today, if you went out Hearing aids, you will even be asked to pay 721000 for a hearing aid. But here, we give them digital at about 60000 So, I'm very grateful that we are able to reach those needy patients. Our patient management services have gone beyond the Lion's Site First Eye Hospital walls through outreach programs. These programs allow us to extend our services to the rural parts of Kenya. We go out every Tuesday, every Monday and every Thursday. We screen patients, 
The ones who need the medication, we give them medication in, on site. The ones who need dinders, we give them leading classes on site. The ones who need surgery, we organize their transport to Nairobi, do the surgeries, and we take them back to where we brought them. Then we follow them after every one month, and another after one, the second month, to make sure the surgery was successful. We have set out over 5,800 outreach camps in various parts of the country. Some of this can be found in Runyenges, Muranga, Muriranja, Sultan, Tawa, Kangundo, Kerugoya, Nyeri, Mwea, Kandara, Kitui, Matu, Kiserian, Naivasha, among others. For the more than 25 years we have been traversing this country, the Site for Kids program has been one of our success programs in most parts. I saw that there was a very big need to support and help children, especially in the rural areas and in the villages. And this is what motivated and inspired me, that we have so many children out there. How can we go out there, have a vision screening program, screen their eyes, give them a pair of eyeglasses, correct whatever eye ailments that they have so that they can lead a normal life and become the future of our country. We cannot forget our philanthropic sponsors and partners who have been part of this journey of making it worthwhile and affordable for our vulnerable patients. Over the years, we have created credibility in the work that we do, accountability and transparency in the funds that are utilized from donors and partners. And this has helped us to foster a very strong relationship between our donors and partners. The journey of Lions Sight First Eye Hospital continues to grow, with our vision getting bigger and advancing our technology and service delivery to reach out to our patients. The future of this hospital is great, I'll tell you why. We have started establishing many satellites. Maybe in the next 10 years, you will see us in every county of this country. And beyond the borders of Kenya, People from Uganda will be able to reach out there. People from Sudan will be able to reach out there as well. People from Tanzania will be able to reach out there. So that is the aim of this hospital, to make sure that we reach out to as many people as possible. We're proud to say one thing about eye services. Nobody needs to leave Kenya for any kind of eye treatment. Whether it's a cornea graft, whether it's a cataract surgery, whether it's a squint surgery, or whether it's just getting glasses, we offer end-to-end -end comprehensive services at the hospital and nobody needs to leave Kenya for any kind of eye ailment.